Hi there, this is Andrew, this is Russia, this is winter, uh, I'm still wearing my hat, uh, it's very cold and uh, snowy, and finally this is a weekend time, I want to uh, show you today uh, cosmetics and perfume store I'd like to call it a beauty hypermarket because it is very huge it's enormously huge you can find everything there from basic price cosmetics to top brands like Gucci Tom Ford my wife needs some products there and uh, while she will be choosing necessary goods I'll take you through the rows of the store show you which brands had uh, left Russia and uh, which at the opposite had come like in the last video uh, the prices will be in dollars uh, they will pop up throughout the video so you don't need to calculate rubble dollar exchange rate so sit back like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, please leave the comments if you have some questions after the video uh, maybe you want to clarify some moments you want to get some details about maybe any brands or prices there and let's start our tour well the store is called in english golden apple and is located in the very center of saint petersburg in one of the most exclusive malls in the city of course my wife would tell about the range of the store better than anyone else but since the channel is called Andrew from Russia and not Andrew's wife from Russia, I will guide you through the store. There is a place where you can sit down and try out the makeup. Lots of people, not only women, but also men. At the entrance there are stands with promotions, different creams, masks, balms, cosmetics from Zina. Mascara, lipstick, highlighters, bronzers, shelves with mixes of different products, both uh, promotions uh, and general articles. Made in Europe, European Euros. Do you know such brand? Morphe, I see palettes and other stuff. I apologize right away for my pronunciation of brands. Uh, some are written in French, so I will not only sound out the brand, but I also show you uh, so you understand what I mean in general. Promotions again. Darling, Dear Dahlia. I see lipsticks, mascara. Oh, thanks for the labels on the shelf above. Uh, body and hair products, and this section is most represented by products from South Korea and Japan. Uh, Korean women on the packages, hieroglyphics. Uh, yeah, and here are Japanese diapers. I can say that some of the products here are clearly overpriced because they come from far away from abroad but there are always a lot of interesting tubes and jars a whole wall of all kinds of masks as i believe this is the body care section yeah let's call it globally yeah body care patches creams serums from a huge number of companies you'll definitely find here what you are looking for and of course no shortage at all All right, Limoni, uh, Benton, I think that's all body care section, Darling, so what uh, we got here, also, yeah, Neogen, 
I fix in the camera for a couple of seconds so you can find the products you know. The storeroom is so industrial and loft like, with uh, huge concrete columns, wood for shelves, and walls upholstered with iron sheets. Uh, there is a lot of light, so you can fully appreciate the colors of the cosmetics. Kills. Uh, I read about some of the brands beforehand on the internet, so I wouldn't be completely clueless. Uh, it turns out that Kills started as a drugstore in New York, and now it's one of the top producers of skin, hair, and body care products. A uh, very nicely decorated area, and here is Chanel in the distance different bottles, the interior design is thoughtful. Zelinsky and uh, Rosen products, that's where I know the super smelling cool liquid soap, uh, but of course the product line here is much more extensive. And here is the area of the top brands, uh, it's Saint Laurent, we also saw Mac in the background, and uh, Kilian, my wife adores their perfume. And here we have a whole Guerlain area, all kinds of fragrances, all available, it's very beautifully decorated. Very nice bottles. Oh, I won't read it so quickly, you'd better see for yourself. By Redo, I don't know the brand, but let's look at the prices. Uh, the average salary in St. Petersburg is uh, $560. Here is perfume as half of it. And then all the brands, uh, but you see the section is not empty, people choose, they buy. Eccentric Molecular, uh, medium price category. Uh, keep in mind that the prices listed are relative and uh, salary levels should be considered. I understand that for many such prices may seem either very cheap or incredibly expensive, it all depends on the well-being in particular country or individual. Moving on, Aqua di Parma, Scentology, Scentologia, oh sorry, sorry. What do we have here? Uh, the mean from London, Initial from France, here is uh, for example the price for the mean perfume. We move on past the luxury row. There is famous boss. Different fragrances, different prices. Kenzo also has a similar price range. And uh, Gucci with a little bit more expensive fragrances. Narciso Rodriguez. Yeah, and uh, this is Japol Gautier. These are the prices, the different beautiful packages. The world famous Packer Bun, Carolina Herrera. What do we have, for example, at the price of Carolina? Uh, bad Boy for $70. Not bad, it's a promotion. Packer Bun, and uh, that's where the sun rises in the distance at Tom Ford. 
the most expensive at top brands are located closer to the center, there are allocated large areas, their own screens, racks, or they don't have many products on the shelf. What's this, the last shipments or will there be more? Maybe they are leaving Russia too. Check out area. The next top brand is uh, ST Loader. The luxury area is diluted by the medical cosmetics department, uh, skincare department. But uh, here only top brands Helena Rubinstein, Avin, Vichy, all still selling in Russia, Bioderma. A lot of different products uh, and uh, then there is the toothbrushes made in Switzerland. L'Occitane, the company only changed its French name to Russian after the sanctions were imposed but here we see that no one even changed the name. Coal is Swiss, uh, Clary, also Switzerland. Endless rows of brands. La Rouge Passé, Vichy. Here, I've never once seen a single section without people buying something. Sisley, Paris. She said uh, Tokyo, each has its own zone, screens and design. Once again, there are racks on periphery with promotions for hundreds of products. Bodeography from the United States. Uh, this part is given to brands from the United States. And uh, what we have next and next is Nux professional makeup. Lots of different products, everything shines and glitters. Of course, it's all beautiful. Russian women love cosmetics and know how to use it. Don't forget about safety, anti-coronavirus irradiator and different accessories. American Revolution, I see a series of merchandise from the TV series, friends on the top, lots of beautiful palettes, yes, very pretty bright, look how beautiful the packagings are. Revolution Pro, some brilliant like rocks on the top. Lancome, everything is very concise, beautiful. The only thing the video can deliver is the sense. I am very sorry. Men wake up, we are approaching our section. Everything for hair care, beard and moustache, American and uh, European brands, condor. Pro Rasso. Let's look at the whole wall of L'Oreal. So, this is a deodorant rack, Old Spice, Proresso, Rixona, Adidas, Nivea, Axe, again Axe, then shower gels, Old Spice, Nivea, Axe again. Dove, before and after shaving products, of course Gillette and Nivea. Also a small section of L'Oreal for men. There are appliances in the store as well, 
epilators, hair dryers, straighteners, curlers, razors. Alright, for example, yeah, I see Xiaomi hair dryers. What else? Uh, yeah, oh, and here are Dyson products. They are very expensive. Italian professional cosmetics for hair care. You see how many more rows are ahead of us. Let's just go with a quick review already. It's all cosmetics and body and hair care products, shampoos, balms, there are also gift sets in different designs. The store also has a separate entrance through the elevators from the underground parking lot. This is a variety of baby care products, diapers, shower gels, shampoos, creams, everything is just top quality in this store. In the corner there are washing sponges, washcloths, razors, and then there is a long line of beauty products. Rinses and toothbrushes. You can buy a Russian cheap rinse or an expensive one, such as uh, this one from the Netherlands. You can see now the price and how different the price is between Russian and uh, European rinse. Again, toothbrushes. This is the toothpaste from the Italian top brand Marvis. The price is about five times higher than the Russian toothpaste. But many people still take this expensive one because of the unusual flavors and quality. Below are simpler pastes, rocks, lacquer lutes, plat, of course, Colgate, Bio Repair. Here are household products, soaps, laundry gels, dishwashing gels. Of course, again, you have the choice to buy both Russian and foreign products. Uh, here again, Korea or Japan, I don't really understand. Pantyhose. Combs. Manicure supplies, nail polish. Meanwhile, on the right, we still have a long shelf of beauty products. Look how many products we have here. The average price is on the screen. A mountain of gift sets. Soap. Bobby Brown stand. Skin care and care, cosmetics again, shower gel, scrubs, scrubs and creams continue. Essential oils. You won't believe it, but we are almost done with the store review. Of course, it's simply impossible to stop at absolutely all the products, then the video will turn out to be several hours long. So, you can write comments with questions, I'll try to answer them. And while I'm saying goodbye to you, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. YouTube algorithms are very complex and take into account many factors. So, the more active you are, the more chances that you'll be recommended my videos again. Bye everyone!